So there you go. That's what you've got out of all that four and a half pounds of raw beef. This is what you've got. Let's take a look at this. Mm. Oh my goodness. Alrighty then. So I made this video and the audio was not there. So I had to do a voiceover. This video is for Jake the Snake. One thing I want to tell you is read the video description and check out the ingredients because I may say something that's not right here in a second. So Jake the Snake, here is the Steakhouse A1 Jerky Recipe. This is a half a tablespoon of seasoned salt. It's actually Lyrely's. Uh, half a tablespoon is one and a half teaspoons. This is a half a tablespoon of granulated garlic and there and half a tablespoon of granulated onion in there next we've got two teaspoons of accent so it's a half a teaspoon per pound and we're using about four and a half pounds I just went ahead and went two teaspoons in there of accent drop it in boy get it in there all right now we got one teaspoon of prague powder number one so this is one teaspoon per five pounds and it's close enough don't try to overdo those things because it's not going to be good if you do it's going to be too much in there now we've got two tablespoons of dark brown sugar don't use light sugar use the dark brown it's got more molasses in it next we're going to be adding the a1 I like to use the bold zesty A1, but they didn't have that at Walmart. So we just went ahead and went with the regular A1 here. Now I'm going to dump this in here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pour some of that soy sauce in that bottle. And, and that's just to rinse out what's in that bottle. You know, that bottle was almost three bucks. So I want to get all that I can out of there. So there we go. We're pouring it in. We're going to shake it up. You don't have to use the A1. I like using Louisiana Supreme. I like using the Great Value brand. But whenever I'm selling it, or when I used to sell it to the public, I would use the same thing every time, which would be the Louisiana Supreme. It's a dollar a bottle. That's what I would use. Next, we're going to just top it off for the rest of that soy sauce. That is three-fourths of a cup of soy sauce, six ounces. That is three-fourths of a cup of what's this here sauce, Worcestershire. And this right here is two tablespoons of lime juice. Now, we're going to just drop this in here and mix it up. I had an issue with this. This is a new mixer. Uh, container is something that you get to mix up protein shakes but let me tell you something about the lime juice the lime juice as I've said in other videos it helps break down the meat fibers the brown sugar is more or less like a cure it pulls the blood out of the meat and allows it to last longer the accent is an MSG but back in the day you remember it's a flavor enhancer so it does enhance the flavor of the meat or the marinade and the Prague powder number one is a cure it's a cure for your meat to make it last longer sure enough now we're going to be making this in the smoker and the smoker is also another cure you may not know this but if you do some research on it even the Egyptians would smoke the mummies to preserve them so as it's being cooked in the smoker the smoke is going to actually preserve the meat as well but it's going to give you the smoke flavor uh, a lot of people can't handle the smoke flavor it gives them heartburn it, sometimes it gives them migraines but if you've got somebody that likes smoked meat they're going to love this made in the smoker next all i want to do is just shake this up a little bit try not to make a mess since the seal doesn't want to seal off in this thing one thing i'd like to to tell you though I always like to let this marinade sit in the refrigerator for like 12 24 hours somewhere in there to let the, all the ingredients 
uh, marry together and just have better flavor you know you're reconstituting all that dry stuff next we're just going to be uh, taking the cap off this meat so i went to sam's and i tried getting the whole eye round one that wasn't trimmed out and it ended up, it ended up being like four dollars and ninety cents a pound and this was five dollars and forty nine cents a pound so i just went with this because most of the fat was already trimmed off of it and that would save me the hassle of having to do anything and they were about closing i didn't want to have to ask them to trim out that eye around for me just for saving a few cents a pound nah I ain't gonna do that but this is really easy just cut this cap off right here and a little bit more of the silver stuff next we're just gonna flip this big old chunk of meat over right here there's four and a half pounds of eye around and you know me i like cutting it at an angle i don't go with the grain or across the grain i go sideways to the grain At the very end of this video you'll see when i do the taste test on this you'll see how it pulls apart and the reason why i cut it at an angle like this it makes it so much more tender here we go running it through the jerky slicer and this is a Weston jerky slicer. I'll leave a link to everything I'm using this video in the video description down below Use the the links don't use the links. It's okay with me But I'm telling you this is like 20 seconds I've got like all this meat sliced up into jerky and everything's uniform Everything gets done at the same time. Look at this man. I'm not even trying to go fast and it's just pumping this jerky out like if I had five or six eye rounds to do, geez Louise, it would just no worries at all. I'm talking about. Look at that. Bum, 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 bum. All right, now we're gonna pull this meat apart like you know I always like to do. Pull the meat apart. Look at that. Look at that jerky. Look at that jerky. God dang it. And uh, so this is my vacuum marinade tumbler. You've seen it in my other videos. And we're fixing to pour the marinade in it and i mean this thing right here will pull the marinade all the way up into this meat to where you're not lacking anything you ever you ever cut into a piece of meat after it's been marinated and it's only the outside of it well this gets it all the way through so now we're pulling the vacuum on this and it takes about two minutes to pull a vacuum on it uh, and then we're going to, well, step by step. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shake it up, and then we're gonna put it on here for 20 minutes. All right. Uh, there's one thing I want to tell you. If we're doing this, I'm skipping the smoke stage. I'm going straight into the 200 degree temperature. And another thing that I do when I when I do this is I try to stay away from this right here I put the jerky in this area Only because this area right here is so hard to clean That's that's one thing I was wanting to show you too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these loaded up here When I do it, I just throw me a handful down like that I make jerky different ways and you know that from watching my videos but when i would make it and sell it to the uh at the flea markets and whatnot i made it all the same way as uh tried to stay in the same doing it the same way people knows it likes it and they're used to having it a certain way and i would do it a certain way back then but now i just like playing around with it and seeing what different stuff i can do and this doing it in the smoker is something new to me uh that's something i, I want to try to master so let's get this loaded up and we'll be back all righty here we go last rack uh if anybody knows any kind of suggestions on how to keep flies out of the area let me know i'd like to do it in an upcoming video and see how well it works for me so leave that in the comment section if you don't mind and let me try it out all right the jerky is ready i've already taken off some that was in here and i like to lay paper towels in here as it's cooling down to get any kind of moisture anything coming off of it any kind of humidity 
and it is a rainy day i believe that's why it's taking so long for this to get done today it's uh five hours into it 130 yeah five hours which is not bad uh oh considering uh what it would take in a dehydrator dehydrator would take way more than that so yeah look at that we're gonna go ahead and get this off here and then we're gonna do a taste test test of a taste so there you go that's what you've got out of all that four and a half pounds of raw beef this is what you've got let's take a look at this we'll look at that right there I mean it just pulls breaks apart the way that I cut my meat it just allows it to come apart like that mm. oh my goodness it's not too salty it's got juiciness for days I'm talking about the flavors that come out in this oh my goodness you can taste that a1 steak sauce man oh my gosh you can taste the Worcestershire oh uh, the extra flavor from the garlic and the onion powder that you add to this and then the brown sugar you don't really get that much but the brown sugar is more like a cure in this than anything it's only two tablespoons more like a cure to make it last longer man that's good really good i love it i'm telling you if you're making this for your friends and family or to sell to people you know you should try it make it they'll love it and if you're not going to use it for beef jerky put it on some chicken pork steaks whatever soak your bacon in it if you want to <laughs> it'll make it good thanks for the question jake the snake hope this helps you out some <laughs> y'all keep the questions coming i'm telling you people are gonna love this people you know is gonna love this when you make it for them y'all have a good one now thanks for watching and you come back yeah yeah yeah